Local leaders taking action to make one South Florida roadway safer. Residents who live on Ivesbury Road say drivers treat it like a speedway, putting everyone in the area in danger. CBS 4's Joe Gorcho joins us live with the solutions that could soon be in place. Joe. Elliot, Lauren, residents had to hold back tears following Tuesday's meeting with local leaders. Officials outline a path forward to curb this speeding on Ives Dairy Road. The mission is to protect lives and provide peace of mind for those living along this so-called raceway. I'm overwhelmed in a phenomenal way. Sherry Rosenthal's backyard Tuesday turned into a town hall discussion. Northeast 12th Avenue, at a certain time of night, it starts flashing to yellow. Why? Rosenthal outlines nine suggestions to make Ives Dairy Road safer. On hand listening, residents, District 1 Commissioner Oliver Gilbert, and several Miami-Dade police members. This is my home. This is my community, and I don't want to be chased out of my community. Vice Chairman Gilbert and the officers understand the cries for help. Ultimately, if you're sitting in your front yard or you're sitting in your house, you don't expect and you shouldn't have to worry about a car coming through the wall. Gilbert does not live off Ives Dairy. However, he shares a recent experience with a car slamming through his home gate, hitting his car. Thank God, the, my son, myself, we weren't actually hurt. His story is one of many. We stumbled upon another accident even as we toured the road following the meeting. Commissioner Gilbert says on Ives Dairy Road between 441 and 95, there have been approximately 13 hit and runs this year. People deserve to be safe. How can we do it? At the meeting, Miami-Dade police pledge a more prominent presence on Ives Dairy Road. When we're not here, it, it's a free-for-all. Major Thomas Buchanan of Miami-Dade Police details what more they can do right now. From May 2nd through May 7th, MDPD issued 35 total moving citations, 28 considered hazardous, meaning propensity to damage property or injure people. Next step, the county's Transportation and Public Works Department will do a traffic study. They'll collect data, share findings, and create solutions to curb speeding and lessen accidents. Get us that, that array of solution possibilities, then we can talk about, okay, this is what we can move forward with now. Meanwhile, at the Ives Dairy Road and San Simeon Way intersection, resident Rhonda Jewell's home cam captures collision after collision. Now you say you sleep in fear, you sleep scared. Yes, I'm, we, we jump up out of our sleep sometimes. And the first thing we do is go to the wall to see if anyone's hurt. On Tuesday though, the fear subsides. Residents joyful with assurances help is soon on the way following the meeting more than three years in the making. Thankful to CBS4 for, for taking on this story. Um, I think a lot of this happened because of you guys. They hurt us, they hurt us. Thank you. Sherry, thank you. Come here. Come here, Sherry. Come here. I'm happy for you. You know, and I'm happy about the renewed sense of optimism residents have in this area. One of the suggestions they told me is that this intersection of Ives Dairy Road and Sam Simeon Way is that perhaps for drivers to take a left, they need a turn signal only. Otherwise, they would have to wait. Now, officers say that could back up traffic just a bit, but could ultimately save lives. And that's the goal with all the suggestions being put on the table. We'll learn more following the conclusion of the county's traffic study. Joe Gorcho, CBS4 News Tonight.